okay today's class will discuss on service procurement so what is service procurement okay. <clears throat> uh, service procurement are uh, kind of non consumable uh, non stockable uh, material we can say when we take some kind of service so we don't maintain any material for that we directly take that service and consume it at that given point of time mm, okay if any service required in any plant industry anything this they'll call the vendor mm -hmm. and uh, they will do service and they will pay for the service okay. so how many types of services we have we have planned service and unplanned services okay what is planned services uh plan for which uh, we have some kind of estimate that we are providing to the vendor and um, unplanned is estimation is like unplanned and if you okay. exact uh, like value if you know the exact value or if you know the exact uh, exactly what service needs to be done in the plant at that time planned service will come into picture like if you are working in any company they will do okay. laptop services and all right hmm. so if they are doing services for only for your team your team contains only 6 to 7 members so when once you raise a request you know that in your team 6 to 7 members are there you will maintain in the po okay like uh, the quantity is 7 okay for seven okay. uh, laptops you need to do service so you know the quantity quantity of laptops yes. at the time we will mention okay for seven uh, laptops i need this one so we'll maintain price for seven laptops only that is planned what is unplanned if you are doing service hmm. for the whole company not for your team you are doing for the whole company we don't know we don't know the count how many members are okay. there exactly we don't know we have the count but exactly we don't know at that time you will raise a po and you will mention the estimated price there okay that is called unplanned okay. service procurement and so and this in this one, po we will not mention the quantity right which po planned service procurement uh, unplanned 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 you can maintain the value estimated value okay 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 and do we require material for this one no and what we require uh we require account assignment and item category okay what is item, item category? category service d okay department by the uh, what is the account assignment you use cost center hmm account assignment ke you use right uh do you require pr for this one so ram every time it would be k only it depend uh, mean uh, 99% they used to procure the department only services and all i r uh, <coughs> no because we are not maintaining material without material also we can create p i r hello ram can you hear me yeah i can hear you hello sure hello okay audible so every time we are going to take uh, k right cost center yeah you can take hello ram yeah hello okay. shivangi uh, so it is is it 99% you will k you will take k okay because department used okay. to order the service what type of service they need and all so you used to keep the cost center every cost center will okay. be having every department will be having one cost center number okay okay and if they are raising for on project work uh, you will confuse again if i tell you all those things and all Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, fine. Take cost center. Okay. And, and PIR category. is PIR is like optional. Okay. You can create, and okay. if you don't create, no issue. How will you create okay. PIR? M eleven. No, no. Well, there is no material, right? How will you create? If no material is there, hmm. then we will. If no material is there. We will just mention. Material group. We will leave right blank. Now. If no material is there, so, then material group is mandatory, hmm. right? Yeah. Material group, right? So we will yes, take yes. service material group. Yes, yes, you can take service material group in the PIR, mm -hmm. and you can create a PIR. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay.
वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक हो गया तो वंस यू मेंटेन आइटम कैटेगरी डी हियर देयर आर सम टैब्स इन द आइटम लेवल इट विल पॉप अप हो गया लाइक फॉर मटेरियल फॉर मटेरियल इट विल नॉट कम ओनली फॉर सर्विस इट विल कम इफ यू सी हियर टू टैब्स आर गिवन सर्विसेज एंड लिमिट्स right and if you remove d here this tabs will not be shown here go on okay because only for the service type the two tabs are activated and if it is a planned service will maintain here and unplanned service okay. will maintain in limits as we are dealing okay. with the planned services just maintain the planned services like laptop services laptop service quantity how much you want seven laptops Ten. okay 10 okay. laptops what the unit of measurement mention as each gross price as 10 uh, cost center maintain the cost center cost center is asking because department is involving here without material yes save the view do you do micro for the service this one no we will uh, not do micro we will do something but not micro micro uh, sorry micro we are not going to do micro yes. we are going to do we'll instead of instead of mygo there is something that we do mm, ses service entry sheet all oh, right service will be doing service entry sheet okay but in the background mygo will be created goods receipt will be created in the background once you do okay. ses in the background mygo will be created okay okay you has been created 17313 uh, ram when you were creating po in the material edit uh, like header level mm -hmm. not header level item level only you have mentioned uh, service 1 and then you mentioned 100 as the net price and in the uh, at the bottom when you mentioned over there plan service you have mentioned 10 laptop and then you have mentioned price 10 so is it like overall uh, you are uh, in total sum up you are going to mention in that item level like one sub, in total one service cost is 100 and then you are giving a break up of it no no i am giving for a quantity right there is a quantity in the item level also mm. lopen the view one minute hmm. okay If you see here, I maintain ten each. I maintain quantity ten each, hmm. and gross price also I maintain ten, ten. per unit one. Okay, so ten into ten hundred. Hundred. So here I'm talking about in the uh, this item level where you mentioned service. So here you will mention only one quantity because this is you're talking about the overall service. One time you are. Ah, break up. Break up here. We can okay. do here on the break up okay. and all. Okay. Okay. Ram, do we get discount on the service uh, um, procurement also, like from vendor? It depends. It depends on the organization. You, you, you may get. What's okay. In, so then, in that case, we have to. For, if you are doing service for around hundred laptops, you will get you get discount, right? Mm hmm. Normal procurement. So then, in that case, uh, we'll have to mention maintain the condition also, no? Yeah, we need to maintain pricing condition. Condition. No, pricing condition. That will come in pricing procedure. It will come. Okay. Okay. Price is the biggest topic. Okay. Now we read the PO and uh, copy the PO number one seven three one three. And what is the ticket to create SES service entry sheet? ML eighty one N. 
Okay. Okay. M L. Eighty one. Eighty one N. N. Okay. Your uh, set other purchase order. Set the pure okay. number. Just enter. You just entered, and we need to create SES. If you see one tab here, okay. that is create entry sheet. <coughs> and uh, maintain the short text as uh, laptop services. <coughs> and here you can see the tab here, right? Uh, service selection. Click <laughs> on service selection. From uh, PUA is taken automatically where you entered here. The PUA has been taken here. If okay. you want to take the full quantity, then adopt full quantity and just enter. <coughs> Once you see here, the service has been taken automatically. Once you enter the PO, it has taken the service automatically in SES for ten quantity. Okay, ten okay. for ten euros per one. Okay. Okay, and click on services here. There is services here. Click on adopt okay. services. And if you see the quantity here, ten it was mentioned. But if you do only service for seven and all, just maintain the quantity as seven. Okay. Okay. And uh, if you see here, there's a flag. Flag means release. Okay. Is okay. once you should release the service entry sheet, and you need to save the screen. So this is uh, we are going to do when once the service is being done by the vendor, right? Yes, yes. This one you will not do at all. This should be done by the stakeholders. If they are getting any errors here, then you should resolve. Okay. We will not do anything in production. Okay. This will resolve the errors. First thing is like you don't have access to this one. Okay. You will be having only display. But as an end user, you are working. Then you should do all these things. Okay. And they will not give all these things, and they will not give my go also, and they will just you do. They will give you creation of PO, creation of contracts, PAR, source list. Okay. Mainly ninety nine percent they will give this only. Okay. Okay. If you see the document is five triple zero double four zero. Go to display. Five triple zero double four zero. And if you see your laptop services, and if you see your what is the moment type here? One zero one. One zero one means the goods received. Okay. Good receipt. So automatically in the back end, one goods received has been posted. Once you post S C S. And if you see okay. document info, I told you document info, right? How we check the accounting yes. documents and all? Yes. You need to go to FI documents, and you told now accounting entries you have seen somewhere. What is the effect of accounting entries and all? Yeah. Those things, FI documents, those accounting entries and all, you will be doing, you will be seeing here only. Okay. Once you click on accounting document here, if you see accounting document here, once you click on accounting document, it will take you inside. There it will show uh, GL accounts. From which GL account uh, it was paying to vendor? Okay, it is impacting. And if you okay. go to document and if you see the print preview, here if you see the account documents, KBS and WRX. Okay. Okay. KBS means only for the service procurement. It will involve the accounting KBS. WRX means GRIR clearing account determination. Okay.
Now what we should do? <coughs> Myro. Myro. Uh, I forgot the B one number. Now this one. Slash and Myro. Mention the pivot number here and mention the invoice date as some date, no issue. Mention the amount here 100. So, if you are posting uh, invoice uh, Myro, you need to post according to the goods received. Okay. If you are posting goals receipt for 50, then Myro also should be 50 only. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about this. And just post the document. Document has been created. So now this is necessary to change right on the right hand side. Uh, good service. Uh, what what what? The, on the right hand side, uh, while you were uh, doing this Miro, hmm. so in the beginning that you have changed to plan service. On the right and say that three options are coming no one is um, uh, good service no, no, plus plan delivery one cost, is good service cost, item. okay it's like you know uh, while doing the service uh, sometimes uh, uh, the machine will get repaired i mean the machine the machine parts are like uh, you know rusted and all and then they will exchange the parts sometimes mm -hmm. at that time uh, they will uh, exchange i mean they will exchange the bolts and all okay so it's like unplanned cost right they are doing okay. the planned service but this is unplanned cost okay which is not involved in the planned okay sometimes they will tell that okay this is my planned services in the planned services uh, you need to change the bolts also mm -hmm. for the machine you need to change the bolts also at the time you will come the bow you will come with the bolts and you will change the bolts also okay and as a planned cost you will maintain the bolts cost also okay no so i'm saying that uh, while doing this uh, myro so uh, we uh, can you open that myro once if you can the okay. one that you have posted now okay this one is yes so on this right hand side on the top top yeah this one so there are three options one is good service item one is plan so always we will take the third one right good service item plus plan 